Today we're going to be learning about nonfiction in books. Let's get to it. Don't worry about less that. If you, it maybe it is lesson one, or maybe you did learned about fiction, and maybe this is lesson two for you. Don't worry, that lesson doesn't matter. That's just for my school. Now, here are some examples of books, nonfiction books. Well, the first one is Wolf about dog. One hundred fun facts about dogs. Apples, hot bunny, frogs, and cats. These are all nonfiction books because they teach us about stuff. What is nonfiction? Turn and talk to your partner if or think. What is nonfiction? You have ten seconds to think. Your time's up. Let's learn what nonfiction is. Nonfiction are real books. That tell information, teach people, and explain what cats are, or owls are, or what dogs do, and what, or what cats do. Let's read a nonfiction book. We're gonna read a book about cop about dolphins. And yes, it is not. <laughs> Written by Melissa Stewart. Here is our table of contents, showing us everything we are going to learn about dolphins. It's a dolphin! What swims in the water but isn't a fish? What whistles and chirps but isn't a bird? What loves to jump but isn't a frog? It's a dolphin. Fish? or mammal. A dolphin is a mammal, just like you. Dolphins look like fish, but they are different in some very important ways. Dolphins have lungs and breathe air. They get oxygen through a hole on the top of their heads. Their tails move up and down. They have soft, smooth skin. A dolphin's body temperature is always about 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Fish have scales. Fish have gills. Gills help fish get oxygen from the water. Their tails bend from side to side. A fish's body temperature matches the temperature of the water it's in. In this book, our keywords are called water words. Here are our first two. Oxygen, an invisible gas in air and water that animals breathe in. Mammal, a warm-blooded animal that drinks milk from its mother and has a backbone and hair. A dolphin's life. A baby dolphin is called a calf. A calf can swim as soon as it's born. It drinks milk from its mother's body. When the little dolphin is about six months old, it starts to eat fish. A baby dolphin has a small mouth. The calf smacks food against the water to break it into bite-sized bits. Here is our next water word. Calf, a young dolphin. I also have a little joke for you. What do dolphins have that no other sea animals have? Baby dolphins, of course. Dolphins live in small groups called pods. Some pods join together to form schools. A dolphin school may have more than 1,000 animals. Dolphins use squeaks, squeals, and whistles to talk to each other. Some dolphins in a pod are in charge of watching for sharks and other predators. Every dolphin has its own name. Each name is a series of whistling sounds. Here's our next water word. Predator, animals that eat other animals. Dolphins work together to catch prey. Dolphin pods will swim circles around a school of fish until the fish are tightly packed together. This big group of fish is called a bait ball. When the fish have nowhere to escape, the dolphins take turns diving in for a snack. We have another water word on this page, prey. Animals that are eaten by other animals. Under the sea. A dolphin's body is just right for life underwater. Flippers help a dolphin start, stop, and turn. The fin on a dolphin's back helps it stay balanced. Its powerful tail pushes it through the water. When a dolphin swims slowly, it rises to the surface and breathes once or twice a minute. 
When a dolphin swims fast, it leaps out of the water to catch its breath. When a dolphin breathes out, air blasts out of its blowhole at 100 miles an hour. I have another joke for you. Why did the dolphin cross the ocean? To get to the other tide. Dolphins have great eyesight, but the ocean can be very dark. It's hard for dolphins to see the little fish they like to eat on the ocean floor. If a dolphin is hunting alone, it will put its head to the ground and make a clicking noise. The noise hits anything in the dolphin's path and bounces back. A dolphin can find a fish by seeing it with sound. This dolphin is using echolocation. You say it like this. ek o lo k shun Dolphins actually use echoes to locate the fish they can't see. Here's another joke for you. What do dolphins like to eat with peanut butter? Jellyfish. Where dolphins live. More than 30 different kinds of dolphins live on Earth. Most dolphins swim in warm ocean waters near the equator, but some live in cooler seas north and south of the equator, and some even live in rivers. The hourglass dolphin lives way out in the middle of the ocean. The Hector's dolphin usually stays close to land. Here's another water word, equator, an imaginary line halfway between the north and south poles. What's the difference? Have you ever seen a porpoise? It looks like a dolphin, but it's different. You say it like this, poor pus. A dolphin's body is longer and leaner than a porpoise's body. Dolphins are more curious and playful too. Porpoise's top fin is usually shaped like a triangle, and they have a rounded snout and rounded teeth, while dolphins' top fin is usually hooked or curved and they have pointed snouts and pointed teeth. Here's another joke for you. Did the dolphin do a belly flop by accident? No, he did it on porpoise. Have you ever seen a dolphin with a long pointy snout? This funny looking mammal is a river dolphin. River dolphins are smaller than their ocean swimming cousins. They are also less active and playful. River dolphins have that long, thin snout, poor eyesight, and they're usually slow swimmers and rarely jump. While ocean dolphins have a short snout, good eyesight, and they're fast swimmers and they often jump. Super dolphins. Super spinner. A spinner dolphin twirls through the air like a spiraling football. It can jump almost 10 feet into the air and spin up to seven times. Easy breather. A dolphin spends most of its life holding its breath. A Rissos dolphin can go for 30 minutes without coming up for air. Deepest diver. Whales and dolphins are very closely related. In fact, some animals we call whales really are dolphins. The long-finned pilot whale is a dolphin that can dive almost 2,000 feet. Here's another joke. What is a spinner dolphin's favorite amusement park ride? The merry-go-rounds. The most amazing dolphin of all is the orca, also known as the killer whale. The orca wins almost every record-setting award in the dolphin category. Fastest. A killer whale can swim seven times faster than an Olympic swimmer. Longest living. A killer whale can live up to 90 years. Biggest. Males can grow almost as long as a school bus. Hungriest. An orca eats everything from sea turtles and penguins to seals and sharks. Here's another joke. What did the ocean say to the killer whale when it left on vacation? Nothing. It just waved. Goofing off. Dolphins spend a lot of time hunting for food, and they are always on the lookout for danger. But sometimes, dolphins just want to have fun. Dolphins make up all kinds of games, like playing catch. Toss seaweed into the air and try to catch it. Surfing. Ride along storm waves or waves breaking near a beach. 
or tag your it chase each other through the water here's another joke why did the dolphin go to the party to have a whale of a good time dolphins and humans dolphins are gentle playful creatures they are also very smart which is why people and dolphins get along so well by learning about these friendly marine animals humans are helping to protect dolphins and the waters they live in here's our last joke what is a dolphin's favorite tv show whale of fortune we have reached our glossary these are all of the water words we learned while reading this book Ooh, adapt now that we're done reading the nonfiction book we are going to be reading I mean, learning or doing something. I don't remember. So let's go back to our nonfiction slides. Oh, now we're going to do our nonfiction tasks. Task one, find three or more nonfiction books. Task two, read your nonfiction books. Those are your tasks. If your teachers want you to do it, make sure to listen to your teachers. Because these are books are important and especially nonfiction books. Nonfiction can give you knowledge and teach you things. Make sure to stay tuned for my nonfiction and fiction, nonfiction versus fiction lesson. Bye.